Crowfeather. We all know him. He's kind of grisly. He's very difficult. Got love with various different cats, etc., etc. But this time, this is a story about him. An uh, entire book dedicated to his character development. Hello, full book questers. It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today, I have this epic, awesome, super edition Warriors book for you guys today. Warriors, super edition, Crow Feathers Trial by Aaron Hunter himself, slash himself, herself, as usual. And, well, let's get right on to it. So, basically what's going on. It's that it's basically just right after the events of the Omen of the Stars, where the Dark Forest cats invade the clan territory, and there's the great battle, and the clan cats win, and drive them off. Now, this is also the battle where Bramble Star became the leader of Thunder Clan, Firestar passed away, etc, etc, Tiger Star died, etc, etc. Now, after the great battle... The people who fought for the Dark Forest Cats, everyone is just, you know, really suspicious about them because they had turned against their own clanmates. Who would trust such a cat? One star, the leader of Wind Clan, seems to be really determined into believing that the cats were loyal, but were they really? Crowfeather was having doubts about his own son, Breeze Pelt, who had tried to kill his other son, Lion Blaze, in battle. And it's kind of just, you know, it's kind of weird. And meanwhile, Nightcloud is being super aggressive to him because he knew that Nightcloud was just in a tent so that he could have a semi-normal love life. Of course, it didn't work out and he didn't truly ever love Nightcloud. He always had loved the leaf pool and before that, Feathertail. And then, the tunnels. We all know the tunnels that flooded and... A lot of issues happen because of the tunnels, but this time there's something new. There's some sort of animal, a white animal to be sure, that is inside the tunnels. When Crowfeather and the rest of Wind Clan investigate, they find out that they are Snow White stoats. And they are vicious, there's a lot of them, and they are danger to the clan. Meanwhile, cats from every cat from inside the clan is saying that Breeze Pelt is suspicious. When Night Cloud, Breeze Pelt, Crowfeather, and several other Wind Clan warriors goes inside the tunnels in order to, you know, investigate, it becomes a little bit dicey for these guys. Why? Because Night Cloud goes missing, and people that since Crow since Breeze Pelt was the only one with Night Cloud, then they're suspicious of Breeze Pelt killing his own. Mother. Now that's cold. I mean, come on, guys. Breeze Pelt, even though he did, he did make some mistakes. He's not the bad guy here. Then, of course, Crowfeather thinks one clan can't deal, deal with this threat alone, so he goes to Thunder Clan and asks for Thunder Clan's help. One Star, meanwhile, knew nothing of this, and when he found out, he was furious. What did he say? He yelled out, No, get out of our territory, we don't need your help, we got this under control. That's what One Star said. And then, One Star, for, disobey for disobeying him and working behind his back, banished, kicked off Crowfeather from Wind Clan. And that was when Crowfeather found out that Nightclub was alive, but trapped in a Twalog place, to lake place. So he so he recruits Heathertail, Crowfeather, and several and several other Wind Clan cats who wants to rescue Nightcloud, and together they manage to stage a rescue mission and rescue Nightcloud. Then One Star manages to admit that Crowfeather's decision might be wiser than what they have to deal with now. So what they did was they basically just went, "All right, okay, we need their help," and so. Wind Clan and Thunder Clan cooperated, and they made a plan. They blocked off every other entrance of the tunnels except one. Then they went, they taunted the stoats outside, and there were many, many of them. Then together, Thunder Clan and Wind Clan united, pounced on the stoats, and defeated them in a major battle. And so the stoats were gone for good. 
Now, this book is mostly about Crowfeather realizing how unaffectionate of a father he was, and understanding how his sons, various sons from two different clans, must have felt. And he makes his peace with Lion Blaze, his half clan son with Leafpool, and also he makes peace with Breezepelt, and they finally start to act like father and son towards each other. So warm fuzzy ending, of course there are some details that I did not say, but those are details that you should find out when you read the book. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, it is a great book to read. Classic warrior style, some villains, some doubt, and everything doesn't work out the way you want it to. But that's why it's fun, isn't it? Read it, have some fun.